What's up everybody? This is Zach Machuca here with Agency Automation. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your LinkedIn automation omni-channel. Now, it's kind of basic in my world, but um, I have a feeling that a lot of you aren't doing this. You're just running LinkedIn automation by, it, by itself, which is good, right? Not knocking that. But if you can do more, then why wouldn't you, right? And what, what I'm gonna show you how to do today is um, how to go from LinkedIn messages and automatically email that person and send them a text message so you can get their attention, right? Because maybe they don't answer on LinkedIn, but they might answer that email or they might answer that text message. And that's our goal, right? Our goal is to get a response when we're prospecting, okay? And doing cold outreach. So um, here are the tools that you'll need. Um, I'm not going to go into detail as to how to set up LinkedIn automation. I'm going to assume that you're already running it. Um, and uh, so, I mean, you should already know what you need, right? If you're at that point too, you obviously need a LinkedIn account. Um, you need Sales Navigator. And you can use a bunch of different types of LinkedIn outreach. For me, I'm not familiar with too many. I'm familiar with like Meet Alfred and WeConnect. I'm going to be using WeConnect. But you might be, I mean, there's a bunch out there, right? So you might be using... Uh, another solution. Um, if they don't allow uh, like webhooks, then uh, you should probably change. And we connect. I'm going to put my affiliate link um, in the you know somewhere below or something. Yeah, I get paid on it, so whatever. Do it. Don't do it. I don't really care. Um, but I'll, I'll do that if you want to switch over to we connect uh, because that's my my uh, choice when it comes to LinkedIn outreach. So um, beyond that, what you'll need is go high level software, right? I'm a big go high level guy. Um, I wouldn't have an agency without it, so I highly recommend it. I'll put that in the description below too for my affiliate link. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna teach you how to do LinkedIn outreach, LinkedIn automation, and then as soon as we are able to collect data we, uh, from WeConnect, send uh, a text message and email if that individual has that contact information in their profile, okay? So um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go into WeConnect right now. Um, if you're using WeConnect, great. If not, then just follow these steps um, in order to, um, to do this, right? So this is a dashboard. We don't need this. The first thing that we're going to do is go into settings, okay? So when we go into settings, we're going to go into webhooks. I already have one made, right? So, But I'm just going to make a new one anyway. We're going to go and go ahead and create a new webhook, okay? So I'm going to call this whatever. I'll just say this test, right? And then here's the um, the uh, webhook URL, right? The callback URL. So a lot of people are doing it right now. They're using Zapier in order to do it, which there's nothing wrong with that, right? You'll just start the Zap. You'll um, you know make a create a webhook, and then you'll use that, and then uh, you can just go from there. So it'll go from we connect to Zapier into Go High Level. Um, I'm going to show you how to skip that, and that way you can go just straight up from we connect to Go High Level. Um, here, it does get a little annoying, guys, because when you are selecting uh, the type of update that you should be sending, uh, just like any webhook, the event needs to happen in order for for uh, you to collect the data, right? So that's annoying because we don't want to just sit around and wait for that event to happen. We want to kind of just test it right then, then and there. So there's kind of a workaround. Um, but before we get into this, let's go into here, the callback URL, okay? So one of the cool things about Go High Level, and I already have this open, but I'll do it again just for argument's sake, is um, you can act, they actually added a new feature here, okay? So I'm in workflows here in Go High Level. Right, this is where you do all your automation. I'm going to say LinkedIn automation to go so test and now i'm going to add a trigger right inbound webhook guys right so basically what Z it's ba this is the same thing that zapier does right it may gives you the callback url um and then you use that for the webhook and this uh now go high level does it itself right so all we're going to do is inbound webhook here's the url right i'm going to put that over here and then i'm going to choose what type of of event right so obviously what we really want is when a contact's email address is captured or when a contact phone number is captured, right? Cause that's like the main data. Um, but that's when it essentially wants us to update things, right? So we really can do it when a contact is connected, right? And then pull the data as soon as they're connected because we connect is going to message them 
like as soon as they're connected or, but that, that kind of makes sense, right? So that's what we're going to do, but we don't want to wait for that, right? So a workaround so we can make an event happen faster is let's do when a contact is marked as a lead, right? Just, just so we can grab the data because I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and save that, right? And then here's the one, this test one, right? But I'm going to go back into it because I need to send a sample, right? I need to give go high level the data it needs because right now, if I test the trigger, nothing, nothing's happening, right? Nothing's happening right there. And it's not loading because the event hasn't happened yet. But a workaround is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to send a sample. So I'm basically going to say like, wait, it's about to happen. So it's ascending, it's loading. I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to go over here to messaging. I'm going to find somebody. Let's go with Amanda over here. And I'm going to mark her as a lead in WeConnect, right? So mark as a lead. Okay, boom, that just happened. And now we should be able to see it right there. There's the request, right? So we're going to click on that. There's a request. And now it pulled all of this data from that LinkedIn individual, right? So I got her phone number and her email. That's what we want, right? So I'm going to save this trigger. It's automatically going to say create an update contact because that's what we're doing. We're literally going to enter this contact into go high level. And there's some mandatory fields, but there are fields that I want anyway. The mandatory fields are the ones that you want. So first name, we're just going to line this up. First name, last name. All right. And I could even do like source. I can contact source. I can say LinkedIn, what, you know, just to give it a bit more data, more context, and I can give it a tag, I can do whatever. But the mandatory ones are phone and email, okay? So phone and email. Okay, cool, perfect, all right? So now this is going to create a contact in my Go High Level account as soon as a connection is made. First, let me save this, right? But then I can go into back to WeConnect and I'm going to change the event, right? Because I don't really want it to be when it's marked as a lead. I want it to be when a contact is connected, right? But I don't need to save a sample because we already have the data. When that happens, we connect, we'll pick it up and then go high level, pick it up, no problem. So we'll click save. And now this is what we're doing, right? So from here, we can do whatever we want. As soon as a connection is made, why don't I send them a text message, right? It says, what's what? Well, it's like, hey... Let's see the custom custom value that we can use. Uh, hey, contact first name. Um, uh, well, and I'm winging it here, guys. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Zach from LinkedIn. Actually, just connected. Um, I reached out because I noticed you were in the whatever industry, right? I mean, we might have, it might be based on a tag. I can just make this, you know, what's running at the time. I can probably set up another filter too, but I can say I reached out because I noticed you were in the real estate industry, right? We can keep it kind of basic like that. Um, did you get a chance? We could say that chance to read my LinkedIn message. Why not, right? Who cares? And we can say the same thing via email, right? So I can do the same thing via email. And then, guys, you can do whatever the hell you want. Now you're in Go High Levels territory, if else statements, anything like that. Um, and uh, you're good to go. But what this does, guys, it's pretty powerful. Like you're going from LinkedIn automation, which people usually just do standalone, and then they have a separate web scraper you know, or something like that, and then they're importing it, and then you're doing it manually. But this keeps it all in one place. So um, you're going to be, it's going to hire the probability that you get a response on LinkedIn, at least, right? But omni-channel guys, we're in sales territory and prospecting territory. You want to hit them on all channels, you want to get a response. Um, and then uh, you want to get them on a call. That's the goal, right? Get a first goal, get a response. Second goal, get them on the phone. When you're on the phone, do your magic, make that sale, and you're ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm going to put some affiliate links to uh, WeConnect and um, Go High Level below. But also, guys, uh, go ahead and check out Agency Automation, right? Uh, I'll put a link to that as well. Um, if you've got, you guys have any questions, you know, happy to jump on a call. But uh, basically what we do is we teach you how to launch and scale your uh, lead gen agency, if either that's from scratch 
or, um, or you're already an existing agency and uh, you want to learn how to uh, really take it to the next level. So um, again, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. My name is Zach Machuca with Agency Automation, and I will talk to you soon. See ya.